This is a recording of our playbook. Download the playbook, configuration spreadsheet, and ABA lab environment from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, dial planned and user training, or your Cisco phone, calling, forwarding, and mobility. In this drawing, we show you how to place and answer calls, configure call forwarding, and understand mobility and roaming. This training is part of our Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build module. See our drawing, Dial Plan Build Overview, for more information. This training is based on the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build. Your Dial Plan may work differently. The configuration for the Enterprise 20 cluster used for this training can be viewed here. A username and password to log in is provided here. It's all about collaboration. Collaboration, working with others to achieve shared goals. You collaborate within Enterprise 20. You collaborate with Enterprise 20 partners. And you collaborate with Enterprise 20 customers. We help you collaborate by making it as quick and easy as possible to contact the people you need to contact, for others to contact you, and to get the information you need from Enterprise 20 users and our partners and customers. In this drawing, we look at calling, forwarding, and mobility. We're using the ABay Lab environment for this training. The ABay Lab environment uses Enterprise 20 for illustrating all aspects of Cisco collaboration and uses the multi-site PSTN simulation to illustrate calling, forwarding, and mobility. Navigate here for more information on the ABay Lab environment. Enterprise 20 has 10 sites across Canada. We'll use phones and users at different Enterprise 20 sites to illustrate how your Cisco phones work. The Montreal, Winnipeg, and Halifax sites are illustrated here. We'll use test phones to illustrate calling to and from and forwarding to outside numbers. Here's the Montreal 57 site test phone. Every site has its own test phone. Test phones have all different kinds of numbers that we can call. We're here to help you collaborate. Hooray! If you have any issues or questions, contact us at collabadmin at enterprise20.ca. This email address is for Enterprise 20 users. You need to contact your own collaboration administrator. There are six end user training drawings. Phone basics, and what's my number, and how do people call me? The basics of placing and answering calls, external calling, speed dials and call lists, forwarding from your Cisco phone, about mobility and calling from your roaming phone, and forwarding from your roaming phone. Let's get started. We need to understand some phone basics, lines, buttons, soft keys, What's it all about? In our collaboration environment, you are a user. You own devices, mostly phones, to help you collaborate with other users. You may have different devices to use to collaborate. Different kinds of phones, from simple single-line phones to video phones with many lines and buttons. Cisco IP Communicator, a soft phone that runs on your laptop or PC and extension mobility profiles, allowing you to log into phones to access your lines, speed dials, services, and other features. All these devices work the same way. We also use Mobile Connect. You can have work calls ring on any device you like, your cell phone, or a phone in a different office. We'll talk about Jabber in another drawing. There are many different kinds of phones, from simple single-line phones to video phones with many lines and buttons, but they all work the same way. We'll use Cisco IP Communicator to illustrate calling, forwarding, and mobility. This phone is from the Montreal site. This phone is owned by user Chloe Campbells. Chloe is the perfect collaborator. This phone has eight programmable buttons. 
Phones can have one or more lines to use to place and answer calls. This phone has two lines. This phone has six speed dials that you can configure to make calls rapidly. And this phone has four soft keys to help you collaborate. This button is for voicemail. This button accesses phone services. This button shows you call lists and directories. And this button is for phone settings, like ringtones. Different kinds of phones have more or less buttons in different places. The buttons may look a little different, but they all work the same way. These buttons can be configured many different ways. In this drawing, we'll look at lines and speed dials. There are many options for soft keys. We'll look at a few simple ones. All phones have something like the four-way navigation pad and select button. You can dial from call lists and directories. We'll look at calling and forwarding to voicemail. Use this button to log into your extension mobility profile and access other services. We're using CIPC, Cisco IP Communicator, to illustrate calling, forwarding, and mobility. CIPC is an 8-button device that runs as an application on your laptop or PC. Sometimes we'll use compact mode so you can better see the examples. In our collaboration environment, you are a user. You own devices, mostly phones, to help you collaborate with other users. You may have different devices to use to collaborate. Different kinds of phones, from simple single-line phones to video phones with many lines and buttons. Cisco IP Communicator, a soft phone that runs on your laptop or PC. And extension mobility profiles, allowing you to log in to phones to access your lines, speed dials, services, and other features. Different kinds of phones have more or less buttons in different places. The buttons may look a little different, but they all work the same way. What's my number and how do people call me? You may have one or more phones. Phones can have one or more lines. Each line will have a different number. Lines on different phones can have the same number. These are called shared lines. Call the number and the lines on all phones will ring. There are different kinds of numbers, DID, direct inward dial, and phantom numbers. People can dial your lines in different ways. Cite abbreviated dialing, dial using extensions, internal dialing, and from outside the enterprise. We say people can dial your lines, not people can dial your phone. Think lines ring and I called from my line. Enterprise 20 users have two kinds of lines for placing and receiving calls. Some lines can receive calls directly from outside callers, people calling from outside Enterprise 20. The numbers for these lines are sometimes called DID or direct inward dial numbers. Some lines can only receive calls from other Enterprise 20 lines. Calls from outside callers must be transferred from a live or auto attendant. The numbers for these lines are sometimes called phantom numbers. Your phone may have a DID number that outside callers can dial directly. Your phone may have a phantom number that outside callers cannot dial directly. In this case, outside callers must dial the attendant number and then transfer to your line. You may have either or both kinds of lines. You may have multiple lines of different kinds. It all depends on your requirements. If your phone has more than one line, you can use the lines at the same time, but all but one of them will be on hold. Outside callers dial the number shown on your phone to reach you at your first line, 514-579-6001. Long distance callers need to dial a 1. If your line is not reachable from outside, this number will be the attendant number. Outside callers can call this number and then can transfer to your internal number. Not all phantom numbers can be transferred to. If you have a phantom number that outside callers need to reach but can't, Contact us and we'll see what we can do.
All Enterprise 20 lines have unique seven-digit internal numbers. Dial internal numbers using an 8 and the seven-digit internal number. Users at any Enterprise 20 site can dial 8-573-6001 to reach Chloe. You can dial any line at any site using internal dialing. Here's a call from Winnipeg Line 602-4001 to Montreal Line 573-6001. Remember the 8 for internal calls. Caller ID shows the internal number prefixed with an 8. This lets you return the call from call lists. 7-digit internal numbers have two parts a two or three digit site code, and a four or five digit extension. The extension is displayed for each line on your phone. Users at your site can call you using your extension. Montreal is site 57, Winnipeg is site 602, and Halifax is site 696. Users at your site can call you using site abbreviated dialing, dialing by extensions. Users at the Montreal site can dial the extension 36001 to call Chloe at this line. Users at the Montreal site can dial the extension 00001 to call this line. Some sites have five-digit abbreviated dialing. Some sites have four-digit abbreviated dialing. Why? When we moved your site to our collaboration platform, we kept your dialing the same as before where possible. Some sites had five-digit extensions. Some sites had four-digit extensions. This was easy using Cisco Collaboration. Why change the way you dial when we don't have to? Here's a call from Montreal Extension 36002 to Montreal Extension 36001 using site abbreviated dialing. Caller ID shows the caller's internal number prefixed with an 8. This lets you return the call from call lists when roaming. Most users have lines where the internal number matches the external number. Use 8 instead of the area code for internal dialing. Think of it this way. You have one number with three ways to dial that number. We assigned numbers like this wherever possible. But we couldn't do this everywhere. Unfortunately, some users' numbers are different if called from an outside phone or if called internally. Why? The North American numbering plan is ancient. It was developed in the 1940s. For perspective, around the same time in 1946, the first general purpose electronic computer was developed, the U.S. Army's Ballistic Research Laboratory's ENIAC. In 1981, legend has it that Bill Gates said 640K ought to be enough for anybody. The NANP was in its fourth decade at that time, and that was 33 years ago. We can only do so much with such old technology. All Enterprise 20 lines have unique seven-digit internal numbers. People can dial your lines in different ways. Site abbreviated dialing, dial using extensions, internal dialing, and from outside the enterprise. Dial internal numbers using an 8 and the 7 digit internal number. 7 digit internal numbers have two parts a 2 or 3 digit site code and a 4 or 5 digit extension. The extension is displayed for each line on your phone. Users at your site can call you using your extension. Site abbreviated dialing. Enterprise 20 users have two kinds of lines for placing and receiving calls, DID, direct inward dial, and phantom. Your phone may have a DID number that outside callers can dial directly, or your phone may have a phantom number that outside callers cannot dial directly. In this case, outside callers must dial the attendant number and then transfer to your line. You may have either or both kinds of lines. You may have multiple lines of different kinds. It all depends on your requirements. 
Coming up next, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Dial Plan End User Training, The Basics of Placing and Answering Calls. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.